Have you ever wondered how beats and a rhythm are grouped? Well, you're about to discover the fascinating world of beats and rhythm. Think of rhythm as the heartbeat of a song. It's what makes your foot tap, your head bob, and your body sway. It's the pattern of sound and time. But within that rhythm, there's something else happening, something that gives a piece of music its unique feel. That's where the concept of beats comes in. Beats are the steady pulse that you feel in the tune, like a clock's tick. They're what you would clap along to or what you feel you want to move or dance to. But here's the interesting part. These beats aren't just randomly thrown together. They are grouped in a particular way which gives the rhythm its unique feel and structure. So, how are these beats grouped, you ask? Generally, beats can be grouped into twos, threes, and fours. This grouping is determined by the occurrence of a strong beat. A strong beat is typically the first beat in a group and is emphasized more than the others. In a two-beat pattern, the strong beat occurs after every two counts or beats in a rhythm. Imagine a ticking clock. Tick, strong, talk, weak. This pattern is common in marches and polkas. A three-beat pattern, on the other hand, is where the strong beat occurs after every three counts or beats in a rhythm. Think of a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. The first beat is the strong one, and the other two are weaker. And then there's the four-beat pattern. Here, the strong beat occurs after every four counts or beats in a rhythm. This is typical of most pop, rock, and jazz music. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, to recap, beats are the steady pulse of a song and are grouped into twos, threes, and fours to create different rhythmic patterns. The strong beat, which is emphasized more than the others, determines the grouping. The two-beat pattern is common in marches and polkas. The three-beat pattern is often found in waltzes, and the four-beat pattern is typical of most pop, rock, and jazz music. Understanding how beats are grouped in a rhythm not only helps you appreciate music more, but can also improve your own musical performance or composition. So next time you listen to a piece of music, try to identify the beat pattern. You might be surprised by how much more you can enjoy and understand the music. Happy listening!